G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the histology of the vagina, uh, this amazing organ um, that plays a very important role in female reproduction, um, does amazing things, uh, grows its own garden. We'll talk about what that means in a second. Um, so let's start our three minutes. So at a very sort of broad histological um, description level, uh, the vagina consists of an inner mucosa consisting of a stratified squamous non-cratinized epithelium and a fibroelastic uh, lamina propria. Then a very indistinct muscularis layer consisting of an inner circular outer longitudinal, as I say, not into the typical sort of bands that we see in the gastrointestinal tract, um, so much more a bit uh, haphazard. And then an outer adventitia. Now, the surface epithelium after puberty of uh, the vagina has some unique characteristics. And one of these characteristics is that the surface epithelial cells actually uh, store and then release glycogen. Now, glycogen is an inert substance, so therefore doesn't stain with hematoxylin and eosin, and therefore appears as these unstained regions uh, within uh, these cells. And so you can see all these white spaces uh, in these cells here. You can see nuclei all the way to the top, so you can see clearly it's a stratified squamous uh, non cratinized epithelium. And what happens is, is that this glycogen is released and housed within the vagina is a native flora of lactobacillus bacteria. And the lactobacillus bacteria uh, metabolize that glycogen and release lactic acid. And that um, creates an acidic environment for the vagina, uh, around about 3.8 to 4.5 uh, pH, which is about the equivalent of a um, the acidity of a, of a tomato, interestingly. Um, and one of the reasons uh, is suspected that we have this acidic nature to the vagina is it prevents further microbial growth because, of course, it's exposed to the external environment. It's a moist, dark environment, um, which is a, typically a, a good um, area for, for bacteria uh, to grow. So having this acidic environment makes an environment unfavorable for other microbes. Um, so you can see this stratified squamous epithelium flattened nuclei on the surface, typical of a squamous epithelium. If we uh, decrease in magnification here, here's our lamina propria. You can see it's relatively dense, so there's lots of elastic fibers, uh, collagen bundles here. If we keep going out, we can see some blood vessels. Um, through here, again, we've got blood vessels, lymphatics, there's a little nerve here, for example, and then we see our first indication of the muscularis, there's a transversely sectioned smooth muscle here. Um, you can see this is a resin section, so the resolution is really lovely. Um, and then we keep going out, we've got a large blood vessel out here, um, lots of lo blood vessels. We've now moved into sort of longitudinally sectioned smooth muscle. So the inner circular outer longitudinal layer. And then as we move more and more externally, we can see more smooth muscle. And eventually we find connective tissue uh, associated with the adventitia. Anyway, hopefully that gave you a little bit of information about uh, the histological structure and function of the vagina, particularly uh, the way in which the vagina creates its acidic environment. And of course, one of the consequences of that is that sperm and semen is actually alkaline to help protect the, the sperm when they're first deposited within the vagina. Anyway, that's a story for another time when we move on to the male reproductive system. I hope you found that useful. I'll see you in the next video and hooroo!